Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming, and today we've got another LEGO Harry Potter Years 5 through 7 video for you, and I promise, this time it actually is Sword and Locket Story Level 16. If you've been following along, we actually had a little boo-boo in our labeling of our recorded levels that we played, and we actually level labeled 17 as Level 16, so we kind of messed that up, but we're going to go ahead and correct that now, and here we are in Level 16, and it happens to have a trophy achievement awarded at the end called soul searching and not to be confused with the last video which we actually played love goods lunacy and we ended up getting the tale of the three brothers trophy achievement so here we are we found ourselves in the snow and there happens to be a bag of tricks pad here and a snowman blocking our path we're gonna happen to hop on that bag of tricks pad with Hermione and reach inside and we pull out a dragon in a cage which then uh, gives us access by the snowman it melts it down as you can see and all of a sudden we come to this weird little crossing here and for some reason, I can't quite get through, and I'm not sure what happened here, but apparently you have to be hairy, and you have to be right next to this, uh, well, uh, I'm not exactly sure. I guess it's it's supposed to be a buck, but it's not, because it's uh, not his, I guess. But here we go. We're following it into the woods. Let's see where it takes us. <laughs> Ice fishing, huh? Looks like we're enduring a small portion of an Iron Man challenge. I think that's what they call these things. Anyhow, uh, we start off by, uh, well, we've got a very bedrock-esque type Speedo on here. And uh, I would think this would be extra chilly. But what we're going to do is use Leviosa on the sparkling little bits over on the far right, which actually gives us some bones. And it happens to be some sort of a swordfish, it looks like. And we are getting our carve on, and we carved out a lower shelf here, which we can actually go below and see what's cracking. So here we are down. Oh, there's a bluesy. Don't forget to grab that. Oh, hey, what the heck? I forgot myself a bluesy. That doesn't happen very often. But uh, this is just kind of a series of Leviosa movements as we kind of guide our way through this underground area. Now, I was kind of having some flashbacks to my recent Sonic the Hedgehog level pack that we played for LEGO Dimensions, and I kept waiting for that song to go. But it did never happen. So apparently you don't need to get any oxygen or find any bubbles or anything. But at one point, we do split ways. You can see Ron goes the high road, and we take the low road. And switching over to Ron, we can actually manipulate some things. Uh, we had to use Leviosa to lift up that rock back there to get through. And once we get that crab out of the way, of course, Harry can slide on through as well. So here we go up the top. There's some jellyfish that looks like they're uh, jellying. I'm not sure what that's what's happening there but uh looks like we got some more leviosa stuff and ooh, there's a character token over on the right we're gonna save that for our free play because we will be coming back and doing those here shortly in fact doug is currently working on our trophy achievement guide hopefully getting some of the uh, finishing touches on uh well year four five excuse me uh, for the free play stuff, so all the house crests and everything. So here we go. There was, it looks like, a little bit of bait on the back wall here that we had to attach to this fishing line or hook here. And once we do, oh no, we get one of those crazy light-up fish. I think it's called scuttlefish? Cuddle, cuttlefish? Something like that? And uh, it comes in and drops it like it's hot. <laughs> like, for realsy, it comes in and it drops an item down on the ground, which we can use Leviosa to go ahead and manipulate. And it turns out it's a hammer, or some pieces that build into a hammer, that is. And we'll go ahead and move this around. And this is kind of one of those funny angle things again. We saw this earlier in another level when we were inside the party, well, in the tent for the party, where we had to use the old ice sculpture and make that uh, goose. And let's see here, which we ended up cooking later. I, I guess I missed a grand opportunity for his goose is cooked. But once we get all three of the pressure points nailed, it actually releases a sword and takes us into a cutscene. <laughs> I do 
have to admit, this level certainly makes a lot more sense being called Sword and Locket based on the content versus the Love Goods Lunacy that uh, we had labeled uh, previously. So, yeah, as we start, we find ourselves back in control of Harry and Ron. Uh, I get a little sidetracked here. Of course, the first thing I see is some glowy bits indicating some Leviosa requirements. We walk up and we find ourselves a Weasley box, which then we put together, open with Ron, and shoot off a firework, which reveals a house crest piece, which, as you know, we're going to skip that and come back in our free play. But uh, we happen to notice a little bit of a mole hole over here, and also some little sparkly bits indicating some specter specs are needed. So we might come back to that later. However, that might be some free play edge too. So we do find a little bit of uh, debris covering an apparition point over here so we're gonna go ahead and use that and we find ourselves in this little quandary over here it looks like we need Loomis but our deluminator has no juice and apparently we can't use Loomis anymore now that we have that at least I can't figure out how to if you can and so I bring Harry over using that apparition point and look at that we have revealed this branch with some glowy oh it's Leviosa so we'll go ahead and lift it up and unfortunately Ron gets up here and gets sidetracked by some more studs because that's all that really is just lifting that tree up and dropping it and as it turns out we need to go back in there because the parts we need are in the debris on the ground just to the left of the tree so here we go we're gonna go ahead and smack them smack them yak them all right we got it and we've got ourselves what is that it looks like some sort of a hat but really it's a weight that goes onto this pressure point and it halfway lifts up what we're after which happens to be one of those serpent boxes i don't really know what we should call those but uh yeah oh look at this we've got a bag of tricks spot unfortunately we do not have hermione so we cannot use that so we got to keep on keeping on look for something else Ooh, some defendo action this wall over here it's got red on it so we'll go ahead and target that with Defendo and carve it out. And look at that. What do we got now? Is this another one of those weird makeshift brooms? No, it's a torch. We're going to go ahead and melt everything we can. Oh, look at that. There's another one of those little weighted hats or whatever we want to call it. I'm sure there's something significant that I'm missing there. But we're going to go ahead. Oh, look at that. It's a snowman. Yeah, what's going on there, Frosty? Oh, found a character tug. We're finding all sorts of free playage right here. In fact, Doug should just watch our videos if he's <laughs> needing to find some of the collectibles. We're finding them all, it seems like. All right, both hats have been placed on the weighted switches, and we now have the old serpent puzzle game here. And uh, once we match up, which for us it was red, yellow, green, blue, it's going to go ahead and trigger a short little cutscene and actually start one of the final little boss scenes for this area here, so... Oh, no! <laughs> All right, here we are. It's the final boss battle for level 16, which happens to be Sword and Locket. And we're going to put, well, sort of, we're putting it to use right now. I, I guess the goal here is we're trying to take out the old Horcrux with the sword, I think is the, the plan. I, I don't really understand. I, I, that's, that's my impression anyways. Um, and, and I really struggled with this whole battle scene. As you can see, a whole bunch of Spartans, Spartans, spiders, large and small, uh, are attacking me. And they don't seem to kind of stop for a while, but they do eventually, I promise. And we find ourselves uh, building some stuff. And, and it just, I don't know, it, you'll see here in a second. It just doesn't quite seem to work out for me. So there's an apparition point. I walk up with Ron because he has the sword. He takes a swing and he takes the second sword or a second heart away. <laughs> Boy, I'm really, really messing this one up, huh? All of a sudden, we've got these, I, I don't know, what the visions of people? I'm not sure if they're ghosts. I, is that Harry's parents? Is that what's going on? Like, I'm super confused. And to be honest with you, I watched the movie to do some catch up recently, but it's been a while since I've done that. It's taken me so long to get through this due to RL or real life. And uh, in fact, I'm gonna talk about that in our game break for November, 2016. If you uh, are currently watching this live as it's being released, uh, you'll have a good idea of uh, what's going on and why things have been so slow. But uh, yeah, and feel free to do some backtracking and figure that out. But yeah, you can see I kind of struggled putting this little flower power together here. And then I finally do. And it just like kind of crumbles on me when I start to use it. I don't really see any changes happen. So I like to rebuild it again and again and again. And I like, uh, so I got it back together and I got so ready. I'm going to charge out and yell flower power. But it doesn't seem to do me any good either. So. 
Um, I believe the goal is you have to, uh, you know, blow away that, uh, that little tornado. It looks like a little miniature Voldemort tornado, but uh, again, like, I'm just kind of at a loss here as what needed to be done. I don't know if Ron needed to be the one, if Harry needed to be the one, so we'll, we'll hop Ron in there and see what happens. Let's see if we can blow them away. No, but it looked like I had a pretty decent angle on that but no so so I don't know if you guys have any information that you can drop down below in the comment section for other people or you know maybe for me when I make it to the old free play because I'm gonna have to do this again at some point and I would be nice to know what the heck I'm doing because I can't seem like I said I, I've tried with Harry I've tried with Ron and uh, there's definitely something going on in the back there too but let's see maybe that's what it is and like I said it's been a while since I've recorded this in fact it's been well over a week since I recorded this gameplay footage, um, and now I'm finally getting a chance to get to the audio and the editing. So it's all put together now, and let's see here. Is this going to be the golden one? I see there's one last little piece of ice there. Does that have something to do with that? Is it ice, ice, baby? Boom, 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 boom. Now the torch didn't seem to be bothered by that. And I don't know. So we're getting really close to the end of this video clip, so I know that the end is near. And all right, so we've, we've got him back. I've hopped on with Harry, and look at that. So I don't know if it was just like user error or if it was just some sort of technical glitch because it seems like you just need to blow him away, just like I was saying. But maybe it was a funny angle or something. And eventually, look at that. It whirlwinds like crazy. And then I believe, oh, yep, it takes us out and an apparition point, or not an apparition, an attack point pops up. So run up there with Ron, hit the button that's indicated for us it was square, and it's going to take us into the final cutscene. Huh? We got that soul-searching trophy achievement that I had promised you in the beginning of our last level, and uh, we finally got it. And the good news is we've already beat the next level after this, so we're going to go ahead and skip to Dabe, which happens to be the final level of, well, it's part one of year seven, the first half. So we do get ourselves a gold brick for completing the level, and oh to the yeah, that's going to take us to the continue story. Now, there was this interesting little... Uh, ending cut outro cutscene that uh, I don't know you know normally we would consider doing like a whole video of just the cutscenes but considering there's no words what do you guys think do you guys want to see something like that and uh, hey if you guys have any questions or comments or anything like that we love hearing back from you and it's important to us to get that feedback so we can you know improve our videos and, and get you guys the content that you guys want and need to see so that all being said we have some social pages that are pretty active and we'd love to see you come be a part of that and we've got links down below but head on over to Facebook Twitter or simply comment vote subscribe down below and of course if you subscribe you're gonna want to turn on your notifications and if you're unfamiliar with the notifications we do have a video up for that as well and uh it's called be notified or get notified when you're subscribed and something like that and i uh, highly recommend checking that out as we do show you how to turn on those notifications and get notified every time we put out a video now that's assuming you want to see all of our videos but it's a handy trick for youtube and it works for other channels too not just ours so anyhow for me that's gonna do it i've actually got a pawn day today so i am out of here as always until next time It's kind of a preliminary echo effect, because I'll be getting that up the pond.